What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you all are having a great, finally, freaking Friday. Uh, we're about... Uh, three and a half hours away from our live stream. I hope you guys join us at nine o'clock Eastern. We got all kinds of stuff to talk about. We've got Micah Parsons being slandered like crazy on Twitter. And uh, after Jesse Holly did an interview, um, basically saying that he questions um, the leadership and the laziness of Micah Parsons wanting to be an edge rusher as opposed to being a linebacker and so on. And we know that Dan Quinn is interviewing with the commanders next week. They're not in a big hurry to get a coach locked down. They've got plenty of time, they feel, um, which is leaving us holding. We've got Al Harris, who basically has said, you know, Dan Quinn's my guy. No matter where he goes, I will follow, even if that's to Alaska. You know, whatever he wants me to do, I'll do. And as well, now we're hearing that the Rams have requested an interview with Dan Quinn's protege um, for their defensive coordinator, Aiden, uh, Aiden Durst. Okay, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing his name right. He's the one that's got the British accent there, and he's been working with our defensive line. You know what's funny to me about all of these situations is how – we as Cowboy fans, um, or some of us Cowboy fans, are always like, these guys are bums, let's get rid of them, man, they stink, let's get somebody else. But the funny thing is, is everybody seems to want our guys. As bad as everybody says our defense was, you know, for Dan Quinn to get six interviews, I believe, six interviews for his head coaching job, for now Al Harris, basically, you know, we got the Green Bay Packers wanting him for their defensive coordinator, and now our defensive line coach, Aiden uh, Dirt, uh, you know, they want him for defensive coordinator. We want to fire everybody. We want to fire everybody, but somehow all the other teams look at these guys and say, yeah, we'd like to take them. It's kind of interesting because it's kind of that way with Cowboy fans, with just about everybody. With Dak Prescott forever, it's always been Dak Prescott, you suck. You are, you know, you are ass ass. And you look at the way he's played. I don't recall us winning three years, having double digit wins three years in a row, any other time in the last 29 years. I don't remember us owning our division any other years. Have we gotten over the Super Bowl? No, but I actually still look and want everybody to keep the pressure on Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones is the player personnel. He's the guy with the purse strings. He's the guy who's doing the contracts and everything else. But we want to get rid of, you know, the guy who had the most TD passes this year. This year, and we're ready to say, you know, well, well let's Trey Lance. Trey Lance is the next guy. Hey, yeah, he's he's a Super Bowl winner. And now we got everybody on the bandwagon to say Micah Parsons is selfish. He's lazy. He's a bum. You mean, let me, let me make sure I get this straight. So you mean the guy that there's only been one other person to start their career out the first three years with double digit sacks has led the team in sacks each of every one of those years. That guy, he's a bum. And you want to get rid of them. Do I have that correct? Do I do I have that correct? Because that's literally what people are saying. I'm sitting here looking at Twitter after um, Jesse Holly giving his opinion. Giving his opinion that he says that Micah Parsons really just wants to be a defensive end because, you know, that's where it's easy. He knows, I just got to rush the quarterback. Now, I'm not going to say that it's easy going against a guy like Lane Johnson. I don't know how easy that is and figuring out ways to get up there. It's not like he's, you know, taking the easy way out and, you know, I'm not doing anything. He is getting sacks. He is getting pressures, a hundred pressures. You know what? If, if he's lazy, Give me 10 more guys that are lazy like that. Give me 10 more guys on the defense that are lazy like that. 
but we have everybody trade Micah. Trade, oh man, get yeah, get rid of Micah, man. Give me some draft picks, especially after what we did last year in the draft, because that, of course, that's all, that's always been our solutions. Is we'll just draft a Super Bowl team. At least there's some calmer heads out there. David Helsman. Do you all know that only four players of Super Bowl era managed more sacks in their first three seasons than Micah Parsons? So we're talking since 1965. Out of all of the players that have played, all of them, only four people have started out their career. Now, that is deceptive, though, because they didn't start keeping that as a stat. Until later, although I do see some people in here listed nineteen. Let's say John John Dutton, nineteen seventy four. I thought that was before. Man, yeah, I don't know where he got this list from. Hmm. Wow. Okay. And to think that he's only two behind Alden Smith. Be that as it may. John Owings, Micah Parsons slander is out of control right now, and way too many of us are giving a shit about a podcast that has zero impact on the team that play on the field. Um, we heard Jesse Holly say he doesn't have friends, you know, doesn't have players over at his house. Micah Parsons, he's got a picture of Micah Parsons. In fact, here I'll put it up here. He said, and I quote in that interview. Micah Parsons, oh, wrong one, wrong camera. That was it. Okay, let's see. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Bring that one down. Says Micah Parsons doesn't have players at his house. And I think I remember, don't I, don't y'all remember his mama cooking one time and having the team over? I, I think, because I was like, man, I'd like to go over to his house. I, I think that we saw that. So take you know what Jesse Howley says and all that to you know you know everybody's going to believe what he's going to believe um Akoye Media said the question that no one wants to answer is does Micah Parsons possess the leadership capabilities and dedication to live up to his true potential he is not the best edge rusher in the league but definitely is the best linebacker uh pass rusher ability in the league if he wants to be one sack in three playoff games and no sacks in any games versus the Niners is crazy. The point is, is he truly unstoppable by anyone else other than himself? Micah is holding Micah back. So we are hearing a lot of stuff. You know, I think I think here's the reality is. The reality is it sucks to have lost in the wild card round again. And fans, family members, everybody wants their pound of flesh. Everybody wants somebody to blame and hang their hat on and say, this is the reason, get rid of him, and then you're going to all of a sudden win. I wish it were that easy, but it's not, good people. It's not. Winning in the NFL is hard. 